matter Me how they came from nothing So I hustle for my mother Bless me only father Money do gymnastics Just like mother roll a cover I pray my name go scatter Welcome back, welcome to my channel. It's my list. I'm back again with another video. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, as you can see from the title below, <laughs> I'm rushing for an event like you know, we I'm are, not going. I mean, she's a bonnet. Obviously. Unfortunately. Yeah, Shane. So, um. Just representing the both of us. <laughs> Weird. So, I'm rushing for an event. Like, it's a. Uh, what's the theme again? Blossom. For the summer, so obviously that's what I'm wearing. Like, show no. everybody what you're wearing. Oh, no. No. You you take hey, man, can you come a video here? So <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm rushing right now. I will carry you guys along with me. Hope you like this video. Share this video with somebody. And I don't know if I said the theme, blossom of the summer. There are going to be celebrities besides the oh, okay. So yeah, see you guys when I see you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Period. Oh, oh, period. I'm a loose sack of baby from nothing, so I hustle for my mother. Bless me, only father. Money do gymnastics, just like mother roller cover. I pray my name go scatter. I'm a loose sack of baby trapping in my mother. Me how they get from nothing, so I hustle for my mother. Bless me, only father. Money do gymnastics, just like mother roller cover. Yeah, hey, you know I like to keep it cordial. Pull up on the two. I do not want to be copyrighted, but I don't want to say money is a thing. I'm going to make it 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 a th
so so grateful so grateful to god and also to you guys that have made us grow without you really there wouldn't be revive so maureen thank you so much i am very humble to stand in front of all of you i don't take this very lightly i'm very very humbled thank you thank you so much so unfortunately i don't have um an amazing story i'll just speak about what i do because that's what i know best so for the longest of time when i was growing up i did not have i believed i didn't have any talent i was one of those girls i was slightly brainy at school yeah that's the only thing i could do so i was an academician all the time so it was school for me and nothing else yes you mentioned um transitioning from being a housewife to now having two successful businesses i'm just curious how the transition went thank you so much i, I think i knew that one would come <laughs> <laughs> okay so i got married to a muslim man very wonderful very loving, very good father, and his culture, you know, I, I've been married for 17 years, so 17 years is a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So in, that, in those days, the Arab women are expected to stay home, regardless to whatever, but regardless whether you have degrees, diplomas, whatever, usually in their culture, they prefer to take care of you. So... As a, as a woman of purpose, I cannot just sit. I am who I am, and I have my giftings that God has given me. So I found it very uncomfortable. But I'm very privileged to have a very understanding husband. My husband has actually allowed me to be Christian and not Muslim. That's how understanding he is, and I'm truly, truly grateful. And yes, this is um, where I am now. Thank you. So I have a question for uh, Clara Black Garlic. Um, the way you've been able to navigate uh, the growth of your brand has been very inspiring. I get a lot of uh, people saying, oh no, you only made it because you've got big numbers. And I feel you're a great example of someone who just started and you've been able to grow so big. So what have been some of the tools you've used to grow your brand so authentically? And also how do you feel you've been able to attract uh, clients. One of the first things is um, mentorship and collaboration. I'm putting you on the spot now. Um, I think about seven months in my journey, we started working more together and just seeing the things that you do how you carry yourself, it kind of helped me stay focused. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, the goal was growing the food business and not about the numbers. And then, like I said, pretty much earlier when I was speaking, the end goal was selling Zambian food to the world. So nothing else matters. It's not about the numbers. It's not... It's not about the noise that comes as people get to know you. My mission at the end of the day is seeing that Zambian food on the front of a, an American magazine, for example. For me, that's my purpose. That's my goal. That's why I do what I do. So whenever I approach these brands that are maybe not Zambian or big, big brands in Zambia, I might not necessarily, when I started, like you said, I think my Facebook had maybe 3,000, my Instagram had like maybe 500. The, uh, both speakers, Mrs. Nawaz uh, and uh, Black Garlic. So in your journey, how do you handle failure or how did you handle failure and setbacks? And then what strategies uh, did you use? work on that yeah has helped me because it has helped me grow so in situation you always have to ensure that you are always teachable even when you know a lot there's someone who knows more than you and um, sometimes it can be deceiving the person you think you cannot learn from is the actual person you can learn from so staying humble 
being able to to step on those stones to build yourself so that has helped me as well i've had so many failures i just didn't arrive like this boom question they say more like advice you spoke about support system so now how do you go forward when you don't have support system when the people that are close to you are the ones that are bringing you down and then for Mrs. Fowers, it's a question. You spoke about finding your purpose. So now how do you identify that purpose? You can be good at a number of things, but then how do you know that this is your thing? I think that's true about life and business is the fact that sometimes the people closest to you won't be the first people to believe in your business or see what it is that you're trying to do. So when you look for a support system, um, sometimes look for people that are outside your circle. So I keep going back to the fact that I have a support system in that big sister of mine, from Lusaka, from social media. I had never met her in my life. I started talking. Both, uh, Clara and um, Mrs. Fowers. So my question is, how do you how are you so successful and still humble? I, I feel like our generation gets excited over <laughs> so little. I don't know if it's pictures we love or creating images in our head, but we all, it's not about how people perceive us, it's what we think we are. So how do you, how, how are you so successful and still so humble? I know a lot of people that are everywhere about their success and what they have and what they own but you are you have you're not the people we hear in stories every day it's a very difficult thing to talk about but success comes in different things and different things mean different things to different people so for some people for example if they post about something it gives them this sense of I don't know completeness some, listen, we come from different backgrounds. So one thing that helps me, and I'll speak on my own behalf, is the fact that from a very tender age, my parents always reminded me to be humble. They'll always be that person that's better than you. You can always learn from somebody. The fact that somebody is working in your house, for example, it doesn't mean you are better than them. Your house helper could become president one day and you could be broke with nothing in your bank. Life changes, nothing is permanent. Big round of applause because I think she is doing such an incredible job. And give yourselves a round of applause for supporting a fellow woman. You all look incredible. I was just sharing. <laughs> with Mary and Val Clara, you know, you see, I'm getting the whole Coppola thing. <laughs> I'm in the vibes. And I was sharing with them that you all have showed up even better than Valusaka, mwe? No, you really have. You have followed the theme. You look amazing. And you just look like you have blossomed. Now, when I was sent the, you know, the event um, title, Blossoming, I was like, okay, that's, that's really interesting. And, and I kept going back and forth on, you know, what should I talk about? Like, and, and what is going to have an impact? But for me, my best way of speaking is sharing through experience. I am not one with the big words and big quotes. So if you're looking for a quotable, I will go somewhere else. I literally share from my story. Go moving one pasta from Kaprimposhi to Luangwa, then another pasta from Luangwa to Luansha, the next pasta from Luansha to, you know, Southern province. That was what my father did. But I watched them do certain things that have been impactful in my life. And in, as we go through what I've blossomed from, I'll make reference to some of the things that I saw them do, how they blossomed out of that. One of the things that I really watched them do very well was network. 
Um, I loved all the questions that you asked come with pain. It doesn't come with work. They had to work those four years as parents to three children initially. Then mom got pregnant in her fourth year of university. Mom gave birth on a Saturday and on Monday she was writing an exam. It was not easy, but they blossomed out of that for our family. When I also look at my story, I look at how I have blossomed out of pain. A lot of us don't like to speak on relationships, but I feel it's important that we talk on relationships and are also honest with each other on sometimes the pain that comes with relationship. And many times you think, especially as you're going through that pain, that I will not be able to go, to grow out of this. This is it. I am done. And I'm glad already one of the speakers has spoken about how a decision that you make before marriage will impact how you either grow or die. Reproductive health for you to be able to make choices for your body. Now you've made a choice for your body by saying, I will have this child, right? And then you spend the rest of your life complaining that he's not taking care of the child. And you've seen those cases, right? You know someone, I think we all know that somebody that just gave up because they got pregnant. And because he doesn't want to marry me, because he doesn't want to take care of the child. Am I saying it's going to be easy? No. Blossoming out of pain means that you will feel the pain. They will be tears but you need to work your way out of it. I had to work my way out of that pain. That support system we speak about does not necessarily have to be family. I had a great family though, but also my church family were incredible. They came and they prayed with me. They excommunicated me, yes. <laughs> it's not like I didn't get punished, I did, but I didn't let that make me bitter. I still took the love that they gave. I also read a lot of books. My mom gave me quite a number of books to read and they really helped me navigate that time, navigate what I thought was like a loss. I allowed myself to grieve what in university, we needed money for the family. So we worked to survive. So money was something that it comes, it goes into survival. I never had extra. Speaking, um, I wanted to scream. Oh, yeah, I was there that time. I remember the time Pizza Hut came to Kawe. I was working for Kenzie Radio, and we hosted her on radio. So when she spoke about it, I was like, oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Lily, thank you so, so much for everything you have said. Um, I'm really grateful, and I'm hoping that we are all learning from what she has said when she said when she spoke about blossoming from friendship um it touched my heart i have struggled with friendships for some time but over the last two years i think my growth has happened because i have the most amazing people in my life i have seen familiar faces here some that i'm meeting for the first time some that I talked to on my socials and some that came as clients that are now sisters. I'm grateful to you guys and I hope that we do take her words and put them into practice. Let us be each other's opportunity if there's anything like that. I hope we can create friendships like they have and I hope when we walk out of here, we're going to walk out different and do better things not only for the people present here but even for those that are not present here thank you so much Alice, over to you. Yeah, 
Hey, you know I like to keep it cordial. Pull up on a two door or the four door. She gotta keep it low key, no promo. A lot of times that it could've went south for me. So I keep my neck looking like the North Pole. I get them by the sink, go like Ocho. Ain't a place I won't go for the peso. You know you gotta think fast. Wanted to do a fruit basket or flowers or a gift or just something you can walk out of this event with. But I thought maybe something you wake up and when you walk past your living room, you look at it and be like, oh, in 2023, I was on the copper belt in Kitway, blossoming with the copper and ladies. So, to you, my big sisters, I'm really grateful for making this possible and accepting my invitation. And I am very excited to award you this. It's um, a Blossom Icon 2023 award. This one is for you, Lulu. Thank you so much. And this is for you, Claire. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much ladies for everything. I, I'm really grateful and I don't take this lightly. Thank you. This is so She's just one person who was like, even when she says something, you should see my WhatsApp. She was like, there, there. She's like, I train you. Let's do this. There's a wife. Let's do this. There's an like, opportunity. Let's do this. And my yoga is the same industry. But she always wants to see you grow as a person as well as in the career. Way. And that's one thing that I have to show I am grateful. And he's also among the people that push you. When I met him, he went to the world. Also, before you think, think for this, I think you should also think. When I went to him and told him I want to do this, I told him the people I wanted to contact, and then he said, I don't want no drama. I was like, wait, no, like, I mean, I can't do that. You know, I mean, I'm a little I said, I'll get that, that's a bit too much. His question was, do you even know what you're capable of? The truth is, I don't know. And hearing you guys speak about me the way you have is... You, some of you tell me these things in my inbox on calls. You call me randomly and tell me these things. But I feel like today is much more closer to the heart because it's happening here with us. And I, I don't know. I want to really just say thank you for everything. I'm hopeful that I'm going to